What's up? Here we go again. You can tell by the title. Cutting up the car a little bit more. Um, so before, I never really cut the strut towers um, very precisely. Not uh, not the greatest. I need more room to fit the tool so I can slam the camera plates. Tomorrow we're going for an alignment. I'm trying to achieve at least two and a, negative two and a half degrees of camber. Right now, I think I'm sitting at 2.1 negative 2.1. We got plenty of room here on the uh, camber plates. I just can't fit the tool. Might as well just show you. Now, I know my cuts are ugly. You ain't gotta tell me. I already know. I don't really care. And now I have the strut brace on, so I can just like kind of cut around the strut brace. But you can see these Allens furthest back. I can't reach them, even with my ball head Allen, all the way back there because of the lip that's on. This is like this on both sides. So I'm gonna cut probably from this halfway mark all the way around just up against like as deep as I can and hopefully I'll be able to fit the tool and we'll uh, slam these camera plates as far as they can go and we'll go tomorrow and see what the result is exciting stuff and then uh, just showed up here a couple hours ago my new tires these are the Bridgestone Poenza RE71R. These are supposed to be a second to a second and a half faster than my Federals around a 60 second track. This is what all my competition runs at autocross and I'm usually uh, about a second behind them. So you know, within, within about two seconds I'd say that from first place usually with the SCCA group. You can see these are 245, 45, 17s. These say 235. 35, but they run big. Um, I don't know if the Proenzas actually run big or not. I might have screwed up. And if I did, then I'm going to be rubbing in the front even more than I already am. Not that I really care, but um, yeah, that's what we're sitting at. They look nice, grippy, meaty. They feel kind of soft. They feel, I mean, really about the same as these. So we'll see how that goes. Those are going on Friday. Alignment tomorrow. But uh, let's get to cutting. Well, I know it's ugly, but you can see this little, the dot there is lined up right with that last line. It's kind of a pain to do by yourself because the wheel really wants to be on this side of the strut tower. So it was really a pain in the ass to get it to where it is and hold it there and then tighten these. But mission accomplished. I got the camera that I hope I want. I went down three of those white lines down and if they each represent even point a tenth of a degree, point one, it sh this should be about point three five negative degrees of camber that I just added. So I'll do the same on the other side. Now, I was just looking in my last alignment, my camber was off by about point one, and this side, I don't know if it shifted or if I wasn't able to get it to where I wanted to last time, but this side was at like four and a half notches and this side was at three and a half notches so that makes sense that's why I'm guessing each notch is point one so I'll do this side and we're done get an alignment in the morning alright well I didn't record any while I was there it's like very shittily raining and the homie was like super busy today but he always hooks it up I'm going back there tomorrow morning again he didn't have time today so I can mountain balance these new tires but so I changed up a little bit. I wound up, I think he said like 126 something of toe in the front after doing that camber. But so we wound up with 3.0 and 3.1. So basically three degrees up front, way more than I what I thought. I thought I was gonna like balance out at like 2.8 max. So we're sitting at three degrees, a little bit more than what I wanted. Um, at least what I think I want. So I went from two to three degrees. That, that little bit of movement was a whole degree. I guess it's more than just a little bit of movement, but. Either way, so we're sitting at three degrees now. We got toe set to 0.9 out up front and 0.7 out in the rear. So this guy um, that was commenting on the last video, Eric Michael, he wrote paragraphs. You go back to the video, the last video of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the end links. He's 
telling me all this stuff. I need to reply to him. I'm just seeing now that the YouTube app is not very good at telling you when you have comments and stuff. At least it isn't on an Android phone, which doesn't make sense because Google owns YouTube, Google owns Android. You would think that their apps would be whatever. That's another another argument for another day. But he was going off here telling me about all this stuff. Um, basically do a, a tow tow out in the rear and tow out in the front because you want the car to be a little bit more unstable once you've done a bunch of mods so you can really drive the car to limit and uh, sure I'm gonna try it out I only got like another month and a couple of days left until I deploy so I might as well just send it and I'm gonna throw these tires on got three degrees of camber up three degrees of camber up front got the tow out front and rear and instead of tow in I had it, it towed in about the same amount um, beforehand so We'll see how this goes. Um, I'm sure this is not ideal at all for drag racing, but uh, for the last two to three autocross events that we have, we're gonna send it. Um, so later today, I got uh, my new wheel bearings. Wheel bearings are coming in today, so I can get rid of these check engine, or not check engine, but all the other lights that are on today. Every light but the check engine light is on right now, so. I have a separate video for doing wheel bearings, but uh, yeah, I'll continue this video tomorrow. Hopefully it's not raining so I can actually like go out and feel this camber with the toe on the stickier tires, um, go hoon around a little bit somewhere, but it's raining like it normally doesn't rain here at all and it's been raining like hell. I've been shutting down major streets in town, shutting down roads on base, like like there's no drainage here at all like there's not like drainage grace every all the roads have like these weird things in them to like direct the water down to like the little uh lakes we have in town and stuff and they're like flooded them they were like above the picnic tables and stuff at the park so anyway going off on a rant i need to go to bed but i'll talk to you guys another time well i just wanted to talk a little bit at the end here that added camber makes the biggest difference i'll show you a clip So, yeah, the, the end links, stickier tires, the, the added camber made the world of difference. The car just feels phenomenal. I mean, the, the cuts for the camber plates up there, they look like shit, but you have to do it. If you want to adjust it from the top instead of dropping the strut down every time to adjust, you're going to have to cut them. And I added the uh, Euro code brace up front to help if I did lose any structural rigidity up there or anything, uh, that, that brace should... <clears throat> I'll bring that back or even add more so yeah the car just feels great I had made this video before the race events so if you had already seen those well then you already know how well the car performed but if you haven't I'll link it at the end I'll throw a couple clips in here but uh yeah it's definitely nice with it BC coilovers are some of the only coilovers that you can buy that come with camber plates which is super nice with it and I've been on those now coming up on a year almost and they've been phenomenal now it might go with some slightly higher spring rates next year a little bit stiffer um but we'll see so far so great now i finally got the car dialed like i said in the last video as soon as you're doing coilovers do like put the put cut those mounts as far as you can put the camber like way like get it to actually where you want it you get it somewhere between two and a half get, get it near two and a half I'd, I'd say at least i think three still might be a little too much but it feels great um, my struts do kind of hit the frame of the car like where the end links mount to the struts they kind of hit the car a little bit on like big bumps big dips but uh i don't really care this car is going to be a full-on race car come 2021 ish i mean ac will be out we'll be looking at getting a wide body and custom wheels and 
all that stuff and have another daily, but um, right now it's baby steps. We're getting there. The car is getting dialed. We need to dial it in a little bit more. Eventually we moved out of here, going to bigger tracks, doing like time attacks all the time and was HDP days and all, all that shenanigans. The autocross is just the first stepping stone and that's what I have available to me. So we'll get there, but the car feels great and I'm overly excited to go back out and race. The race season's almost over and it's really upsetting, but next season, next season's going to be super duper dope. But questions, comments, concerns? Drop them down below. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.